Hi everyone, Hugh Van Kallenberg here from the Resilience Project. I'm just jumping on here very quickly because I want to talk about something that I have done in the last two weeks, which has made an enormous difference to my mental health and wellbeing. Uh, just to be very clear, I'm talking about something that I have done that has worked for me. That doesn't necessarily it's going to make mean it's going to work for everyone. In fact, I think you need to be wary of anyone who's claiming to be an expert on how you cope from a mental health point of view through a pandemic because we've never ever been through anything like this before so um there's no such thing as an expert on how to do this because we've never we've never done this um before so all i'm talking about is stuff that uh, something that i've done that's helped me if it helps anyone out there um that'll make me very happy i, I just feel like before i go into what i've done i just feel like the world i just felt the world feels a lot heavier um just in this last couple of weeks i just feel like something's changed. I don't know if it's the hope has been taken away from us or optimism about this whole situation, but the world feels a lot heavier right now um, than it has before in this whole, um, well, nearly two years, I guess. Um, Penny and I, my wife and I, were, were out the front the other day because we couldn't find our dog. He's a big black dog and a guy walked past and Penny said to him, um, uh, have you seen a black dog? And the guy said, only in my head. And he kept walking. And um, my first thought was just that, gosh, that's very quick-witted. Um, but after that, I was kind of thinking, um, I think that kind of summarises how we all feel right now. I just feel like, I mean, I, two and a half weeks ago, I probably had my worst day of all of this in the last, um, in, in, like since the pandemic started. I had my worst day. I just, you, everyone would know what these days feel. You know, those days where you wake up and the the impact or the, or the weight of this lockdown or pandemic it just feels so much heavier and you can't help it all day. Just think about the stuff that you should be doing right now, or the stuff that you will be doing if you weren't in lockdown. And, um, and you think about all the what ifs and, and imagine this had happened and we wouldn't have to be putting up with this. And I had one of those days and I was really flat. Um, and then the next morning, um, I was in the car driving, um, to the supermarket and I was listening to, um, someone talk about the power of acceptance. I've heard everyone talk about acceptance before, but for some reason, it really spoke to me in that moment. And I made a decision in the car um, two weeks ago on the way to the supermarket that I need to accept that the world has changed. I need to accept that the world is a totally different place than it was two years ago. I need to accept the fact that I'm in lockdown and I have no control over when we're going to get out of this. Um, because for the last um, nearly two years, I've been trying so hard. I've been worrying so much about something that I have absolutely no control over. It's an extremely anxiety-provoking activity to worry about something you cannot control. And we've all been doing that for so long now. I have genuinely decided to let go. Um, I cannot control what's happening in the world right now. I have to accept it. And since I made that very conscious decision, I cannot tell you I cannot put into words how much better I felt. Even um, a week ago, Melbourne had, I'm in mean, Melbourne, we had some really shocking news about restrictions ramping up because the, we hadn't didn't have control of the Delta variant. And it was pretty heavy listening to it on the news and Penny turned to me and said, are you okay? And I said, oh, genuinely, I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. And the reason was I have accepted what is happening. Um, so I don't know how many people that's going to help. I really don't. Because for many years, I heard people say, oh, the power of acceptance. And I was like, well, how do you just accept something. I, I, I can't tell you, I think it's, I, I got to quite a low moment and I just felt like I give up. Um, I give in just like, well, it's, <laughs> this is out of my control. Um, and, and I let go of it. And, and from that moment, it's felt a lot better. Um, I do understand, however, though, um, I'm very wary of the fact that I haven't lost my job. I haven't lost a loved one in all this. Uh, and I don't know anyone who's been extremely sick. So it is easier for me to accept what's happened um, and, I, and I understand some people, it's going to be a lot harder because of what you've been through. But this is what's worked for me. And that's why I'm talking about it. Because if anyone else is in that same boat that I was in two, same boat that I was in two and a half weeks ago, where the world's too tough right now, oh, I just can't cope with this. Um, accepting what you cannot control, letting it go, um, is a very powerful thing to do. Uh, I hope this has helped someone. I hope it hasn't annoyed you. I, there's the amount of videos I've watched on how to cope. <laughs> Uh, and it's just made me really angry and annoyed. So I hope this isn't one of those videos. Uh, if it was, you've probably switched off a long time ago. So um, stay safe, everyone. Um, get vaccinated. Bye.